Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is going to be a really quick uh, little video here for today. I had a couple of a couple ideas for videos that I wanted to film today, and I sat down to film them. I tried filming a couple different videos. Really, nothing was working today, um, and so I decided to postpone some of. Um, that filming uh, until tomorrow and over the weekend and I thought that today I would just do a really simple reading update because I haven't done one in a couple of days so I have a little bit uh, more um, a couple more books read a couple more books that I'm working on and so I thought I would just do a quick reading update and uh, show what I have read and what I am currently reading uh, so the last uh, I'll start with the last two books that I have finished. The first I showed in my last reading update um, as currently reading, uh, and that is uh, My Dearest, Dearest Albert, The Letters and um, The Life of Queen Victoria Through Her Letters and Her Journal, uh, compiled by Karen Dolby. Uh, here's the... Oh. Here's the cover here. Uh, this was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed this. It was a short read. Uh, it's a very short read. I believe it's under 200 pages. And it's just a great collection of Queen Victoria's personal writings uh, that give a really interesting look into Queen Victoria's life. She was an incredibly interesting woman, um, and that really shows through uh, in her writings. Particularly her relationship with her husband, Prince Albert, is one that is incredibly interesting. Um, sort of the intense passion that she had for Albert, as well as sort of the fact that they were pitted against each other in a lot of situations, and they played off of each other sort of as rivals a lot of the time, sort of Albert gra um, grabbing for power and, and uh, Victoria sort of um, trying to, um, you know, keep herself at, in the position of queen without doing the 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 work associated with it she didn't like the public aspect of being queen albert lived for it and so they had a really interesting dynamic between the two of them um so that is the most recent book that i have or the, um one of the most recent books that i finished and then the book that i finished reading yesterday um is helen rapaport's the race to save the romanovs and i won't go into too much detail uh, here in this video i have a written review that i will link to down in the description below um that is on my my personal website um so i won't talk about it too much here but this was fantastic one of the main points that helen rapaport uh gets across in this book is sort of um addressing the myth that uh, King George V was the reason that the Romanovs were not saved, the reason that the Romanovs were not rescued and brought uh, to England. A lot of times, um, King George V is sort of uh, put in, uh, uh, is sort of given the blame for the failed rescue attempts of the Romanov family. And really, like most things, it was far more complicated than simply King George dropping uh, the ball and not following through with his uh, with his plans to rescue the Russian imperial family. It was much more complicated than that, even just bringing in um, the geographical uh, complications of a Romanov rescue alone made it incredibly complicated. And then you throw in the fact that Europe was embroiled in World War One. Um, complicate, uh, complicates it even further. And so this was an absolutely fantastic uh, book. It's, it's short. It doesn't take very long to read at all. Um, and like I said, I have, a, I have a full written review for this that I will link to down in the description below if you are interested in reading um, in more detail some of my thoughts um, about this book. And then what I am currently reading is Jane Ridley's The Heir Apparent, uh, A Life of Edward VII, The Playboy Prince. And I showed this one in a couple of videos. I think I showed this in a um, in a book haul, and then again in my um, uh, a TBR video. I believe that I did. I, I may I may have shown this one, but I am now currently reading this. I started it today. Um, I'm only on chapter two, so I'm not very far in at all. Uh, but I'm very curious um, about uh, um, about this. Um, I haven't read anything about King Edward uh, the Seventh at all. 
uh, other than when he has been mentioned in passing in um, a couple other uh, Victorian Albert books that I have read and then in a couple other uh, Queen Victoria biographies uh, that I have read. So I'm really excited to get, dive into this one. I, I really don't have enough um, time spent reading it to have anything of merit to say at this point, uh, but I will talk about it in the next reading update that I do once I have finished it. Uh, so that's it for today. Just a really quick uh, chatty reading update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you would like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.